going to show you how to make the Magic Foldable. The Magic Foldable is a lot of fun for students of all ages. Kids love foldables because they can hold them, they can draw on them, be creative on them, use them for studying. Um, they're awesome. Foldables are a lot of fun. And the Magic Foldable is really great because even secondary students love them. So let me show you an example of an end product of the Magic Foldable so you can see if this is something you're even interested in trying out with your classroom. This is a Magic Foldable, a language arts example. That's the front and this is the back. And the magic part comes when students take the foldable and fold it. And there is a hidden section of the foldable right here. And so as you can see, all of the text on this foldable would be student created. Now I have seen some of these foldables where teachers actually print off a lot of the text for students. And I think that's pretty um, acceptable for some groups of students, whether they're primary or have special needs, or there's a lot of text that you want to deliver to students. So let me show you how easy it is to create this magic foldable. First thing I want to tell you is that you only need three supplies, three things to make the magic foldable. A simple sheet of paper, white is perfectly fine, two strips to go in the center, and then scissors. So what you're gonna do is step one, fold your paper. You're gonna fold it twice. Fold it in half. I like to make my fold pretty exact because then um, the foldable works nicely once it's complete. And you're going to fold it in half one more time, folding vertically. So you're going to make a nice long strip. It's not real important to get a tight fold, but it does help in the end product. All right, so once you have it folded twice, you're going to open the fold once. And now we're going to be cutting, and we're going to cut only on the edge that's folded. So you can see right here, this is my folded edge. When I do cut, I'm going to cut to the center right here where I have folded. So I'm cutting on the folded part to the center. And I could cut just twice. I could cut three times. I could even cut four times if I wanted to. The more cuts I make, the more sections my students will have to write in. So it's up to you, depending on how much information you have for your students to write, that's how many cuts you want to make. Now you might be thinking, well, my kids can't do this. This sounds too difficult for them. For primary so, grades or students with special needs, you may want to make these foldables for them or get parent volunteers to make them. For older kids in secondary, you could definitely do this with them step by step, explicitly teaching them how to make the foldable. So remember, I'm cutting on the folded side and I'm going to the center, just to the center. And I can cut as many times as I need. And for these purposes, I'm gonna cut three times. So once I have all my cuts made, I'm gonna open. And you can see now that I've got all these slits down the middle. Now I'm gonna take my two strips of paper and I'm gonna weave them through. So let me show you as I do the first one, I'm gonna kind of weave this through the middle. Okay, and my second one, I'm gonna weave it also, but it's gonna be the opposite way. So, so there it is. That didn't take long at all, right? Okay, so I have my foldable ready for my students now. Along the edges, I like to put like really important information, um, you know, basic information that they don't need to match. And then in the middle, I like to put matching information like um, the problem of the story and then they write the problem or a word and a definition or um, the word in a picture so my students have to match um, and then remember the magic is in folding it this way and then opening it in the center 
And that took me a while to figure out. It was kind of tricky for me. I think for students, it's more intuitive, but for me, it took me a little bit longer. Okay, so this is an example. And this was the finished product that I showed you. And notice like this one, I've got main character, problem setting in the beginning, in the end, so on. And if you wanna see what I have in my magic part, I've got the lesson, something I wonder, and so on. Some kids love color, so if you've got a lot of colored paper and you want to use that, this is nice for those students who need the color. This is an example that has more slits in it. I've seen math teachers use this with math equations, math terminology. Um, it's really effective for that, but also science and social studies. Perfect for those content areas as well. Like I said, all content areas, all grade levels, highly effective for our students. So give it a try and also please be sure to tag me at Valentina ESL. I'd love to see how you are using Magic Foldables with your students.